Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is Hyundai Aura S variant and today I'm going to share with you its detailed walk-around review along with owner price and many other information as well. So make sure you watch till the end and do subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon as well and if you want you can follow me on Instagram. So this is the S variant of Hyundai Aura and we get variable warranty choices so you can choose it according to your running. So we get 3 years 1 lakh kilometer, 4 year 50,000 kilometer and 5 year 40,000 km and you can select according to your daily running additionally we get 3 years roadside assistance also without any cost also Hyundai is claiming that we get a very strong body structure in Hyundai Aura and it is built up with 65% advanced high strength steel and high strength steel and it gets a super body structure as well and to start off up front we get normal halogen headlamp with follow me home and lead me to the vehicle function also we get a very powerful projector fog lamp and these are twin boomerang shaped LED daytime running lights and Aura has a tagline which says makes you shine and it is manufactured at Hyundai's Cheney plant also you can see a technical specification comparison of all the compact sedans so Hyundai Aura has a ground clearance of 165 mm turning radius of 4.7 meters cargo area 402 liters and fuel tank capacity of 37 liters and in the front we get disc, on the rear we get drum brakes and we actually drove this vehicle today and suspension is quite balanced and it is improved by miles if we compare it to Hyundai Accent. And in this S variant we get 14 inches steel wheels along with wheel caps and wheel caps also look quite nice and these are 165 by 70 section tires and turn indicators are on front fender not in wing mirror in this variant. And guys, hands down, there are excellent styling and detailing which are done to Aura. This is piano black finish C pillar. We also get micro roof antenna. Also, there are six color options on offer, which are vintage brown, alpha blue, fiery red, titan gray, typhoon silver, and polar white color. What we are watching right now is typhoon silver color. And this is the dual tone rear bumper along with reflectors and we get two parking sensors in rear and this is very stylish and splendid looking LED tail lamp and this is the aura badging high mount stop lamp is placed in the center itself also guys there are certain very rock solid reason or certain USP about this car which is most premium materials with best in class fit and finish quality rear seat space, rear seat headroom and refinement of engine are beyond class and you have to open the tailgate from the key itself. There is no electromagnetic trunk opening on offer. So we have to long press this switch and it will automatically release the tailgate. So Aura has a 402 liters of cargo area, which is quite a lot. Well shaped boot is provided and we don't get any luggage lamp in this variant. Also guys, loading lip is very minimum. So loading and unloading of baggages is very easy. And this is 14 inches spare tire 165 by 70 section tire. The same is available in every variant. Also guys, this is a very value for money variant. According to this variant, there are a lot of safety features which are on offer. So we get dual front airbag, ABS with EBD, engine immobilizer, emergency stop signal, rear parking sensors, front seat belt reminder, front seat belt with pretensioners and force limiter, speed alert system, isofix child seat mounts, central locking, projector fog lamp, rear defogger, headlamp escort function which is initially follow me home and lead me to the vehicle function. Also we get speed sensing auto door lock and impact sensing auto door unlock feature on offer. And guys on door price of this variant is on your display screen and check the description as well. So let's just talk about the engine options and transmission option on offer. So firstly, let's open this hood. So guys, there are three engine options on offer in Hyundai Aura, which is 1.2 liter petrol engine with manual and automatic gearbox, 1 liter turbo petrol engine with only manual gearbox, 
and 1.2 liter diesel engine with manual and automatic gearbox. But S model gets 1.2 liter petrol and diesel with manual and automatic gearbox. Also, there is a CNG variant too in this model, but we will post the review of that variant separately because it has some additional features on offer. And jumping onto the specification, we get two engine option on offer in this variant. So first is 1.2 liter Kappa four cylinder dual VTVT BS6 compliant petrol engine, and it generates 82 bhp of power and 113 nm of torque. We get five speed manual and AMT gearbox, and fuel efficiency is 20.5 kmpl for manual and 20.1 kmpl for AMT. Also, the second one is 1.2 liter three cylinder Eco Torque BS6 compliant diesel engine, and it produces 74 bhp of power. And 190 nm of torque. We get same 5 speed manual and AMT gearbox on offer. Fuel efficiency for the manual is 25.35 kmpl and for the automatic it's 25.4 kmpl. So now let's get inside and check what all features are on offer. So we get remote keyless entry and there are these two keys on offer a remote foldable key with three switches and one normal standard key. So let's turn on the ignition mode. And guys, overall the interiors, the fit and finish quality and color combination is spectacular in Hyundai Aura. And what you also get is this satin bronze kind of treatment on all over the dashboard as Hyundai says it. And it looks quite nice also. And guys, in my opinion, Hyundai Aura has the best cabin in its class. So these are the front seats with fixed headrest. We get leather plus fabric seat upholstery and they are quite comfortable as well. So the roof is in beige color, carpeting is in black color. We get height adjustment for the driver side seat, manual adjustment. There is a dead pedal and if you want to open the tailgate or fuel lid, you can do it from here. And this is headlamp leveler and the switch is illuminated. And guys, this is the color coordinated front door. Inside door handle is in black color. We get all four power windows with driver side auto down. Electrically adjustable ORVM is on offer. There is no foldable function and all these switches are not illuminated. There is a speaker on offer. Also bottle holder and small size map pocket is also available. And let's just get inside and shut this door. So there is this small kind of storage space and twin different sizes of cup holder space. And this is black finish gear knob. We get some storage area up front. And this is a USB port for the infotainment system and a USB charger. And both of these ports are not illuminated. We get a blue color backlit illumination in this cabin. And this is manual AC with heater. So that is the infotainment system for the S variant with a LCD display and four speakers on offer. It supports Bluetooth, radio, USB, iPhone and iPod connectivity and you guys can also pair the Hyundai's iBlue app to this system. And this is the steering wheel which is quite sporty. We get the same in Grand Ateneos and Hyundai Venue. And these are controls so we get audio controls and Bluetooth telephonic controls. And this is basically adjustable steering so we get tilt adjustment in this variant. And even the top end we didn't also get tilt adjustment. These are wiper controls and these are headlamp controls. And that's a very handsome looking instrument cluster. The center MID screen shows average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, average speed, engine running time, service reminders, dual trip meter, distance to empty and gear shift indicator. And apparently there is no temperature gauge over here. Also guys, if any of the door is open, we will get a reminder. But if hood is open, we don't get any of the reminder. Let's check about the tailgate. So if you open the tailgate, you do get a reminder. So there is door and tailgate ajar warning. And right over here, we get a very practical size storage box. And this is a glove box along with cooling function. And passenger side sun visor doesn't get a vanity mirror. This is center reading lamp along with heater dimming function. And we do get a day and night IRVM in this variant. So that's the driver side sun visor. It has a ticket holder. And guys, this variant is quite loaded and has all the essential features on offer from steering controls to the rear AC vents. So that's the rear door. 
with dual tone color. We get child safety door locks, inside door handles in black color. There is power window controls, there are speakers, bottle holder and a small size map pocket as well. And this is the rear seats with two adjustable headrests. And guys, elderly people will find it a quite comfortable place. In and out is super easy. And we don't get any magazine or newspaper pocket behind the driver's side seat or even behind the passenger side seat. And that's the rear AC vent with the adjustable airflow. And it is quite efficient. And this is 12 volt accessory socket. And on the back, we get complete leather finish, which is looking very elegant. And guys, this is the center armrest along with twin cup holders. And talking about other things, there is a grab handle on this side, a center reading lamp and a grab handle on this side as well. So let's just shut this door. So guys, this is the theater dimming function in cabin lamps. So that's the complete dashboard look. So what do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Also, make sure to check the description box as well, guys.